Now I always wanted to make a camera comparison video between the Sony Xperia XA1 Plus which is right here with the Sony Xperia XZ. Now what makes it interesting is that both of these phones have the exact same camera sensor so both of these phones support a Sony IMX300 23 megapixel camera sensor. Now even though both of these phones have the exact same sensor, the Sony Xperia XZ has a slight advantage here because it comes with a depth of field sensor, laser autofocus and the RGB sensor for accurate white balance. Meanwhile the Xperia XA1 Plus only comes with a flash. So technically camera on the Xperia XZ should perform better. Now this video is about camera comparison between the XA1 Plus and the Xperia XZ but just for fun I'll also include some pictures shot on the Sony Xperia XZ Premium which is the current flagship phone and this one has a 19 megapixel Sony camera the Sony IMX400 so a totally different camera sensor on the Xperia XZ Premium meanwhile both of these phones have the exact same camera sensor. And before I begin my image comparison let me clear out one thing. Now. The camera of the Xperia XA1 Plus tends to overexpose pictures when it's in superior auto mode. So this time I have taken all of the pictures with the Xperia XA1 Plus in manual mode so that I can reduce the exposure value to minus 0.7 and in some pictures I have reduced it to 0.3 and in some pictures up to minus 1 exposure value. Meanwhile the camera was on superior auto mode on the Xperia XZ and the XZ Premium. So that's one thing to keep in mind because this camera was overexposing shots and initially I started clicking pictures in superior auto mode but they appeared to be washed out so I switched over to manual mode. Alright so this is one example of how the camera overexposes pictures in superior auto mode and if I zoom in you can see how the uh, yellow color is blown up and the picture doesn't appear to be clear and this picture I took in manual mode I reduced the exposure value to 0.7 you can see this picture is much better. Lot more details especially here and in the yellow color. In the other picture this thing was totally washed out because it was overexposed. Alright guys here we are. We've got the pictures that were shot on the Xperia XA1 Plus on our left hand side. So these are the pictures shot on the XA1 Plus. And on the right hand side we have the pictures that were shot on the Xperia XZ. And I've separated out the pictures which were captured on the XZ Premium. But in this video, we're taking a look at the camera comparison between the XA1 Plus and the XZ. So we'll keep those aside and we'll see this first. So let's start off with this picture. And once again, these are all taken in manual mode unless I say so. So I have reduced the exposure value to 0.3 to 0.7. And you can see the amount of details that this Xperia XA1 Plus is able to capture with the manual mode. Otherwise, if you were capturing this in superior auto mode, this part and this part would be completely washed out. So let's place these pictures side by side. So again, on our right hand side, Xperia XZ. And on our left hand side, we have the Xperia XA1 Plus. And I can tell that the Xperia XA1 Plus produces less noise. This may be due to the fact that I'm shooting these pictures in manual mode but I haven't touched the ISO or anything. This is just with the exposure value reduced. So move on to center and I can tell that the Xperia XA1 Plus does uh, produce more lifelike images even though this thing has a RGB sensor on its back. So there you have it. And just a quick look at the picture shot with the XZ Premium, 100% zoom. So here we are, XA1 Plus on our left, XZ Premium on our right. Alright, moving on, next image, we have this picture. Again, shot in manual mode, I have reduced the exposure value. Uh, this is at 100% zoom. So let's place this on the side, compare it with the XZ. 100% zoom and this one was captured in superior auto. So I think if you learn how to use the manual mode on the XZ1 Plus, you can uh, click much better pictures than the XZ. 
you can see the amount of noise here and there is less noise on the XA1 plus if you reduce the exposure value and this one unfortunately the XZ wasn't able to capture this picture I tried it many times you can see this is out of focus this one is also out of focus and this one is again out of focus for some reason that phone was not able to focus and the same problem was on my XZ premium this might have something to do with the laser autofocus but yeah you can see I shot the picture twice this one is a little bit better but yeah the phone was having troubles in keeping the focus steady anyways the XA1 plus didn't seem to have any problems you can see the picture is sharp and clear so uh, moving on 100% zoom once again and this one also 100% zoom you can see the noise levels are kept well under control on the XA1 plus right here if you take a look here you can see there is a little bit of noise and this one actually took me quite a while I did try shooting five or six pictures then I was able to get it right on the XA1 plus and this one is shot on superior auto mode on the XA1 plus and superior auto mode on the XZ also and you can see what I was talking about the superior auto mode on the XA1 plus tends to overexpose pictures meanwhile it's fine on the Xperia XZ let's take a look at the XZ premium and this one shot on the XZ premium you can see the quality is so much better and this one shot in manual mode this is a random shot and you can see the colors are much better on the Xperia XZ so let's move on and again this is shot on superior auto mode on both of these phones slight over exposure here meanwhile this is more real lifelike 100% zoom This one is also shot on superior auto mode. You can see the picture is a little bit out of focus on the XA1 Plus. Meanwhile, this phone got it right in one go. But once you switch over to manual mode and manual focus, you can get a crystal clear picture. You can see this is even better than the one which was shot on the XZ. So let's zoom out. So these two pictures are also taken in superior auto mode because I feel superior auto mode was giving better pictures here. But you can see the colors are slightly better on the Xperia XZ. So maybe it depends on the scene. Both phones are really good. So let's zoom in. This one is a little bit more bluish and this one is a little bit more violet. And this is more lifelike because I have seen this, seen this flower in real life and this is much closer to real life I feel that this I feel that the XA1 plus is giving a little bit better picture quality maybe less noise so if you take a look here this picture is very noisy I think I shot the same on my XZ premium so this one was shot on the XZ premium and this is much better so uh, comparison so XA1 plus on our left XZ premium on our right quick comparison with the uh, XZ all right back to the original topic here's a picture shot in superior auto mode on both of these phones and you can see that the Xperia XZ is slightly better the color reproduction especially is better on the XZ but if I zoom in you can see the noise levels are kept well under control on the Xperia XA1 plus so I think both of these phones have their plus and minus points and take a look at this so this one is shot in manual mode and you can see this picture is perfect not overexposed not underexposed I did reduce the exposure value to 0 0.3 and this one is shot shot in superior auto mode you can see how overexposed these pictures are especially here and the petals of the flower 
this one shot in manual mode and here is a comparison between the two the right is shot on the Xperia XZ and XA1 Plus on the left zoom in a little bit you know what I'll do a hundred percent zoom shot and yeah I can tell that the noise level is much less on the XA1 Plus alright so both of these pictures are shot in low light let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better and I think this is a mixed bag kind of a feeling because I feel that this picture shot on the XA1 Plus has less noise but the picture shot on the Xperia XZ is much richer in colors and the depth of the colors is much more so this is at 100% zoom 100% zoom and you can see this one slightly blurred and this one is crystal clear both were shot on superior auto mode by the way if you're wondering and this one also you can see that the XZ produces much better result this is at 100% zoom and this is a picture captured with the front facing camera the one on the left hand side obviously with the XA1 plus and on my right hand side with the Xperia XZ now the XZ has a 13 megapixel camera and the XA1 plus has a 8 megapixel camera so this is at 100% zoom and this is also at 100% zoom uh, you guys be the judge I think that the XA1 plus shoots better front facing camera pictures but sometimes uh, the Xperia XZ shoots better pictures and sometimes the Xperia XA1 Plus shoots better pictures. You can see the XA1 Plus is over there. So yeah, for my personal experience, the front facing camera is better on the XZ. But in this picture, it's it appears to be better on the uh, Xperia XA1 Plus. Alright guys, I hope this video has helped you out in making a decision which phone to buy. Now Xperia XZ is still available for purchase in some countries, at least that's what I've got to know from reading the comments. 
so if you're making a decision between the XZ and the XA OnePlus, I do recommend that you go for the XA OnePlus because it has an extra gigabyte of RAM and has a much better battery life. And make sure to watch my performance comparison video, video between these two phones and you'll see why I recommend buying the XA OnePlus. And this phone barely lasts a day on a single charge. Meanwhile, this one goes for at least two days on a single charge, even if you use it heavily. And by the way, I bought this liquid glitter cover from AliExpress. If you want to see a review of this cover, do let me know in the video comments. Because I think this is so cool. But one negative point about this is that there is no cutout for the fingerprint sensor. So you have to press it and unlock the phone manually. But I'm willing to look over this thing because this thing is a conversation starter. And if you show this cover to your friends, yeah, they'll definitely want one. And I think this looks so cool. And moreover, I dropped my phone a few days ago and it has a little scuff mark here. So a cover was mandatory. So I've got this cover. So do let me know if you want to see a review of this because I've got another one uh, just like this and I just might uh, destroy one of these uh, cutting out a hole for the fingerprint sensor. So the other one is actually for my friend. So I want to give that cover to her intact. So guys, thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.